Hello everyone to the latest episode of the Nitro Racing Series F1. Um, this uh, week we are at Singapore. I really like this track. Uh, it's always fun to drive. Um, and I felt pretty good at going into this based off testing. So. Um, yeah, it's always just a fun track. It's really challenging. and um, It is tough to pass here though, that's for sure. That's the one uh, negative about Singapore, but I really enjoy this track. So. About to get into qualifying here, and uh, we got a little nasty surprise here as it is going to be raining in qualifying. It was very light rain, but uh, the race would have been dry, so um, not too much to be concerned about. Um, that was just checking tires there, but this was my fastest lap here. I was up over a second going into these last few turns. I just really messed up these last few turns here and lost about like three to four tenths, and it was pretty upsetting to be honest, just because I was driving too hard and lost time um could have maybe uh got ahead of my teammate of uh gail for a second here but i ended up qualifying in p4 but gail actually put on a monster lap at the end there too and mahu's in his own little zip code um but uh maybe could have started third instead of fourth if i ran a better lap but uh you can see here with strategies there's a, there's so many different strategies but uh me and gail often do a test race during the weekend during the week to find out the best strategy and we actually discovered um the one stop was the game says it's slower it is definitely not slower it is definitely faster um we if we we thought it's like compared to two stops it's anywhere to four to eight seconds faster um so we that's the strategy we went and we went for a quick start here and you can see there was contact uh between caden and gail and then uh camera was able to get on my outside and I'm trying I I'm trying to really uh make sure to keep him behind me because um people didn't know but me and uh Gail were on uh, preset one because we did also discovered that uh extra downforce helps a lot here. Um But uh I blew all my arrows on that straight because that was gonna be the weak point of the, the uh setup we chose. So I it's like I knew once we got to this point they weren't no one was really gonna be able to pass me. So, uh, at this point, kind of settled in. It was a average start, you know, peak stage where we started. And I knew on the longer runs, the people that didn't have preset one would struggle. But, uh, right here, Caden in the Aston Martin gets a little sideways, and I blow all my ERS to get by him entering this turn. And, uh, the next, uh, step here is to set my eyes on my uh, teammate of Gail. Um, during our testing, it was between us we both agreed I was probably a little faster but um how this race played out was very interesting because um this tire management was a big part of this race and uh you can see lap five we're starting to gain a little bit on them and slowly but surely people behind me haven't been real really being able to gain anything um the Alpines were on preset three to my knowledge and they they would basically kind of stick with us but they couldn't ever do anything with us but uh here on lap seven on the uh, third DRS straight uh gail makes a mistake in the hairpin and he decides to let me go as i ran him down and uh just seemed a little bit faster at this point maybe somehow make a dent into mahu's ridiculous 10 10 11 second lead here mahu was just ridiculous in this race it was unbelievably quick um but the odd thing is, I was faster than um, my teammate Gail. But basically, as soon as I passed him, it felt like my tires just fell off a cliff, and I was just struggling so bad. It was intended to make it to lap uh, 12 to pit, but I decided to uh, box on lap 11 because I was leading, and there was a lot of cars behind us. So I come in um, really slow because Singapore is a really hard pit entry to get in. And you can see us exiting here on new brand new hearts. So we're taking these hearts all the way to the end of the race. And... Uh, Basically, we just had to hope for no safety cars at this point, and if no safety cars happened, we would have been in a really, really good spot. Um, it's because we, me and uh, Gail just didn't believe the uh, two stop was faster from what we saw. Um, it was going to be about four to eight seconds faster to to what we saw when we were testing. So um, we just needed this race to go long, and then the la next next lap, you can see. Uh, Gail Pitts and uh, Cameron Pitts in the LP, but he goes on mediums, so we knew he was two stop. And so, me and uh, Gail felt pretty comfortable at this point for uh, our strategy. And uh, 
The, also, the other thing with the two stop strategy is that you're gonna have to pass people, and this, it can be very hard to pass people at Singapore. But uh, that 14 here, um, you can see uh, Cameron is on Gale behind on the mediums, and he is going to pass him going into. Uh, I think this is turn six or something. I, <laughs> there's a lot of turns here. I don't know the numbers of them, but uh, he moves into P4, B, and then. Um, Pretty quickly here, he's going to be on my tail, and he, he will soon pass me, as you'll see here in a second. Um, but uh, the big issue here is um, yeah, on lap 15, he's going to pass me down this straightaway coming up. But uh, these tires did not feel very good. <laughs> um, I was struggling, I felt like, and uh, it was kind of reassured that I was struggling a little bit because uh, Gail was running me down pretty quick on these hard tires. And then um, you can see Bacon gets by, but... Uh, Lap uh, 16, and you can see Gale's only four tenths behind me at this point. And then I look behind me, and Puck on Soft makes a crazy move on the outside. Um, and then um, Soft tires are so much faster, but they die, like, instantly. It's crazy. Like, they're only fast for, like, two laps, and that's it. But um, I would go, I'm going to end up letting uh, Puck um, down, go down the straightaway. No point of fighting him on Soft when he's going to be, like, three seconds faster a lap for, like, two laps. So... Um, we've fallen down to fourth, and uh, I still wasn't worried at all. I felt pretty confident that we were still on the right strategy, and they weren't, these two guys were not going to run us back down. But uh, here on lap 19, and just still struggling, and then I understeer wide, and I had to get off the gas a little bit. And Much like uh, Gail did for me earlier, I just decided to let him go and see what he can do. And so basically we ended up uh, even on the exchanges of... Uh, Pseudo team orders, I guess, right? But uh, not really any team orders. Um, but you, you can see this is literally like a half a lap later. He's already pulled a second, so he was definitely way faster than me at this point in the race. And then here you can see uh, Puck uh, in the Red Bull has pitted, and now we have moved back into P4. Um, so we're, basically we're just hoping we can... If a safety car comes up, we just got to hope for a few more laps for the, the uh, LP in the pit too. But... Uh, Jump up to lap 23, and you can see Gale has pulled out to 2.5 seconds. And uh, I was like, I don't know where my pace went at all. It was really weird. And um, the pace was so bad that people behind me were trying to catch me. But uh, lap 24, you can see it's down to 2.3 seconds. Bacon pit, Cameron pits. And then um, I started to find, change some lines up and breaking points. And you can see I'm starting to gain. The lap 26, it's down to 1.5 seconds all of a sudden. I, I found a uh, tremendous amount of pace all of a sudden. I'm not really sure where this pace has come from, but uh, I was not complaining. Uh, so you can see uh, lap 27, so we're coming like four, four or five to go. And Gale goes super wide in turn three. I get a ton of time, and this is going to put me in DRS range. But I uh, wasn't able to do anything that lap. But uh, lap 28, um, still in DRS range. So we're going through one, two, and three here. And then Gale again goes wide in turn three, and I gain a ton of time. And I'm going to be in position to maybe make a pass here. Also, unfortunately for Puck, he disconnected for a couple laps for some reason. It was really weird. He was running us down, but I, he went out of caught us. And you can see me going for the move here for second place. But uh, unfortunately for him, he uh, was losing a lot of ground here. And I don't think he catches us. He would have been about f uh, four to eight seconds behind us by the end of the race, we believe. But uh, lap 28, and much like the first time I passed Gale, I started struggling again. Like the tires, like I guess I pushed him to the absolute limit. But... Um, Coming to lap 32 to go. Gale is only three tenths behind me. I felt I didn't want to use any ERS here. And uh because I didn't feel like it was close enough. And then we go through one and two. And since we haven't really been racing each other, we didn't know uh, our breaking points. <laughs> and he gives me a nice little uh shot there. Uh all incidental. But uh we just had a very different approach to that turn. But uh yeah, all of a sudden as soon as he got behind me, he was much faster. And surprisingly, I did no damage to his wing. I don't know how. But uh, at this point, he is going to pass me down the straightaway, I believe. And, uh, yeah, he passes me here. And uh, at this point, yeah, the position, you can't really race through this section of the track. So I have to let him go. And uh, at this point, it's just bring it home and, uh, for the uh, McLaren double podium. So me and uh, Gail had a really good run and fun battle for the win. Not the win, but, uh, <laughs> you know, second place, so. You can see he uh, stretched it out to about two seconds. And uh, it was a really good run for us, uh, P3. Uh, pretty happy about it. And uh, 
good points day. Uh, finally get some. Got a good finish and uh, after some rough races at Japan and China. So good points and uh, yeah, I had really fun this race and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll show you the results here in one second. And here are the final results of the race. And uh, yep, my who won the race, me and Gail came second and third for McLaren 2-3. Cameron fourth, Puck fifth, Caden uh, sixth, Matt seventh, LCS eighth. J 9th and Libert 10th. Um, yeah, it was a fun race. Um, we have an off week next week for uh, Thanksgiving, and uh, but we'll be back in two weeks for Abu Dhabi. So that should be an interesting race. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and you can watch these nights of races live on my Twitch channel in the description below as well um, on Saturday nights. And I do all sorts of other streaming as well. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!